Hey, what's going on, buddy? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last time we made the Bobby Lighthouse after uh, visiting La Lavero and finding the sad state of affairs in there. I, I'm doing this kind of weird here, apparently. Uh, oh, oh god dang, I didn't give that. Hold on, let's save the flea here. Good. I just have some new gin to use that I haven't used yet, have we? For example, we have not used torch. Also, we haven't used flash yet either. Jeez, I should really catch up on that. We haven't used dew. We'll probably just use it just to show it off here in a second. Wow, I mean, he's actually pretty low in synergy, so is Ivan. I mean, we don't really use a whole lot of synergy with Ivan. Let's go down here. Hey, What's this? <laughs> We're getting a lot of Jin, Jin lately. I guess Jin, actually. Shipper and Jinny appeared! Uh, let's use ground so we can't run away. Uh, let's use Torch. Energy defense with a Melting Blast. Uh, nothing new with you, and even though uh, no one's dead, let's use Dude just to see the animation. Since that's all, what most of this is about when I use these. I also haven't used Flash, so I'll have to use that. I think that's it, right? Uh, the Super Vision! He, um, he has the ability... Where is he? Oh, there we go. He's level 25, has 688 hit points, he drops 506 gold, 677 experience points, he has the ability to flee, he uses Blue Bolt, Destruct Ray, uh, Shine Plasma, Wind Slash, and Tornado. So a lot of just offensive moves. Um, flint. Uh, flash, even though as we have no use for it yet. <clears throat> we'll be using it eventually anyways. But I uh, might as well just use it here. That's what Flash looks like. Protective Aura encases everybody. In circles, sorry, jeez. Three damage and five damage, so that's how crazy this thing is. On be weavable. There we go, I felt it. There's another 25 warrior! My sweet up by eight, PV by two, attack by four, defense by one, agility by four. There we go, great. We did it! Yay! And with that, we get the final Jupiter Genie. Uh, Luff! Luff is a cool guy, he doesn't afraid of anything. Seal of all synergy. Okay, for a final. Uh, Jupiter Jin, it, this guy is kind of sad. Um, he just, he, it's just binds. And it's kind of unfortunate because it's not good. And, uh, yeah. There we go. So this brings us back up here. One hour later. Okay, I'm back. I just cut there. Um, so after we get the Jin, we go over here. We go back out this way. Right, so this leads to this entrance. So if we didn't use growth there, we could have gone this way. I don't remember. All what is through here, so I'm gonna take a look. Did I get a new Jin? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, sorry, not Jin. We've tried all of those. So we have Will O' Wisps, which I feel like would be much weaker. Uh, you feel like we've seen these like really early in the game or something, but no. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna go for all these scrubs one at a time. Screw it, screw it, screw it. Okay, so the, 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 the Skull Warriors. Okay, uh, Skull Warriors, level 26. They have 283 hit points, 188 gold, 301 experience points. They have a 3.125% chance of dropping a vial. They have the ability to use Dull, which will uh, bring your attack down. They can also use Bone Charge, which does extra damage. Uh, 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 fever. There we go. Fever Dream. <laughs> Uh, okay, and the Will-O-Wisps, they have level 25, 209 hit points, 160 gold, 227 experience points, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping a nut. They use Haunting, which, you know, causes Haunt, <laughs> Tundra, Blue Bolt, and they use Drain, which, you know, would drain your, um, your, your, your life, your life away for you, for them, for all of the friends. So you'll see there's only one more gym left to get in this game. Okay, we did not want to go left, you fool, you fool. Um, god dang it. Uh, okay. Oh, well, another new guy we haven't fought. I mean, no, sorry, that is a guy we haven't fought before. Haha. <laughs> I'm a fool. Um, Lightning Smog. I think that's the first time I've seen that, right? Cool beans. We did it together. Nope, this way. It seems to be locked. Oh, poopies. What does it mean? It means we gotta go another way. An other way. Alright, so we're gonna go up here. Um. <laughs> Orc Lords! These guys are scary, and they're also very large and in charge. Scourge? Uh, 
Nope, not Luff. Ah, uh, well, we haven't seen that yet, so I guess we should use that Shintui. Hey, what are these? Orc Lords? Orc Lords. Level 25, 278 hit points, 198 gold, 260 experience. They have a 0.78125% chance of dropping a lucky medal. Oh, wow. Cool. Good job using Elixir. They have the, they have the ability to use the Elixir. They have one each, actually. Uh, so I'll rip his Elixir. They have the ability to use Spaz, which is do extra damage and sleep. Um, me as a level 25 Paragon. Oh, we got... Wait, Glacier. But we already showed that, right? HP up by 7, P by 3, Attack by 4, Defense by 2, Jilly by 4. Uh, in the entire Golden Sun universe, there's three Golden Sun games. And... Oh, I don't remember which... Wait, is there... No, there's no way out here. Uh, so we either have this left one or this top one. That one on the right there actually led to the Jin, if you recall. I think we want to go on this top one. Of course we gotta get into battle here. In the entire Golden Sun universe, this is the only enemy in this game that drops a lucky medal. Uh, I will say there is... In Golden Sun 2, there is an area you can use lucky medals there as well. So that's why it's kind of important. If you ever wanted more, a bunch of extra lucky medals to get an infinite source from, this would be the guys to do it. I'm sure there's a way to like manipulate the system. There we go. Manipulate the system so we get it. Wow, we should just be dead. Hey, LMAO, if you go back this way, at least up to the locked door, which is now not locked because we got through it all. Sure, this they went through this door? Yes, they opened the stone drawer and entered. Well, does the door open? It's hopeless. It won't budge. Of course not. I told you, this door doesn't open. If it did open, we have gone uh, long ago to study the ruins. But I'm certain they went through this door. I'm saying no one has ever gone through here. Oh, you them. I am so sorry about Shiba. Why did this sort of thing have to happen? Are Felix and the others beyond this door? Yes, beyond the door that no normal man can open. If they got through, we can too, right? Yes. Will you go for us? Edom, just who are these people? They came from the far north. They have chased the ones who took Shiva all the way here. They've been chasing that fearsome group? Yes, they are most fearsome. Such awful p power. And what they're trying to do seems very dangerous. We're the only ones who could stop them. You think you could stop them? Yep. You seem quite sure of yourself. What do you think you could do? I've never heard such harsh words from you, Farron. I wouldn't even call that really harsh. <laughs> What do you expect when, in the midst of such dangers, you ask me to leave Shiba's fate in the hands of children? If you want me to trust them, then you must give me a reason to trust them. First, you'll have to demonstrate your powers to us. Can you follow the same path that they took? Probably. Your confidence means nothing unless you could show that you could do it. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Edom asks that you stand back and watch. Now, show me what you could do. No problem. And Edom is no longer with us. I'm counting you, Isaac. Prove your worth by opening that door. Do not doubt your abilities, Isaac, but I am very worried if the door doesn't open. When I saw them, they had already gone through to the other side. It's a truth. You have to believe me. Nobody thinks that door can be opened. I'm starting to doubt it myself. It's not like I actually saw them go through. If you can open this door, I will trust Edom once more. I hope they can open the door, but I won't believe until I see it. <laughs> it's funny that there's still a lot of enemies in here. Those guys are fine. There's actually not a whole lot of opportunity, like areas in this game where um, there's enemies as well as like people around. Oh, wait, did we see Luff? Yeah, we saw Luff already. Right. Use it on the guy that healed himself immediately. Uh, I think there's one more enemy we have to fight here still. Sayup. Oh, there's. Whoa, that's actually a couple. There's three. Dang. Hmm. Okay, right, just kill this man. Fine, <laughs> adorable. Smelt down. Uh, I think it's just Ivan we haven't seen unleashed from yet, right? Which is ironic since Ivan's the one that has the extra weapon we have to show off. Awesome. 
Uh, I'm gonna talk to this guy yet. I'm sorry, but not even Shiba has ever passed through here. There's no way this door will open. I don't know what they're waiting for. If they're gonna open the door, they better do it now. I told this guy, they all started. This all started when Shiba was dragged off to Toby. If anything happens to Shiba, the good folk of Lalavar won't sit idly by. Sounds like wars are brewing. It was a huge waste of time. If we don't find Shiba soon, her life may be in danger. All right, let's see what we got here. Can interact with the door. The truth of the story is over to those with the. the See with a true heart. Well, if you reveal, the button reveals itself, and we did it. Easy peasy lemons. The door! I don't believe it! The door opened! Incredible! It really does open! How in the world did you open the door? I don't know how to explain it. We did it because we're us. It would take too long to explain. There's no time for an explanation anyway. That's right, we must rescue Shiba. Alright, let's go. Let's, let's go, Farron. We've got to save Shiba. Well, looks like we're about to go from a party of four to a party of nine. There's a whole bunch of random guys. And Farron and Eodum. Hey, the door's closing. Eodum sounds like a very Lord of the Rings-esque name to me. Why did it close? I don't know. Why does anything close? <laughs> I really like this line. This is the line that has always stuck out my mind. It's so stupid. But in a good way. It's stupid in a funny way. I closed to prevent people with no synergy from ent entering. It would be perilous for those without synergy to try and get through. I agree. You have to let us handle it from here. What? You're telling us to stay back? Yes. Since we can't even open this door, we'd be just getting in your way. This is true. We can't leave Shiba in, the hands, in their hands just because it's dangerous. They have greater power than you could even imagine. Just tell them I want Colossal, man. Without such power, this door will not open for us? Yes, that is correct. That is how it seems. Without that sort of power, we would just get in their way. I understand. Shiba's life is in your hands. Do not fail us. You must bring back Shiba to safety. Make haste, Isaac. All hope lies with you. Alright, we're tasked with saving Shiba. I beg you guys, like, please bring back Shiba. If anything happens to Shiba, Toby will become Wallavero's sworn enemy. This must be prevented at all costs. I mean, there is a desert between them. Uh, I am not afraid of danger, but I do not want to hinder you. I'm counting on you to save Shiba for us. Uh, I don't want to hinder Shiba's rescue. From here on out, I'm leaving everything to these warriors. I'm very interested in what lies beyond here. I know, once it's over, I'll go see it myself. It takes great courage to continue on in the face of danger. They'll be here awaiting your safe return. I bet the monsters around here are, are nothing like what lies ahead. I'm happy to leave such danger to those warriors. I can't believe this door actually opened! What are you? If this door opens, maybe we can get through to the, to the other parts of the ruins too. That there's a little platform there it steps on. <laughs> there's one more thing to fight. Um, there are actually a few things left. For Blanks. Oh right, that looks like a, that looks like small gym. Gym. That confused me. Um, there are actually a few more enemies for us to fight here. Wow, I like how he was like in delusion. He still avoided us. That crazy guy. There are a few enemies for us left to fight, so I'm actually gonna cut till we fight them. So we'll be right back. Alright, here's the first scrub we have yet to fight. A Chimera Mine! Should we just, we'll just toss a bunch of attacks. We, I really want Ivan to use his freaking unleash. Uh, Chimera Mages, level 26. They have 413 hit points, 300 gold, 362 experience points. They have ability drops Spiked Armor, uh, which is nice armor. Um, <laughs> they use Fire Blessing, Recover, Eruption, ra uh, Rabbit Fang, and Mad Dash, which are also pretty strong. Uh, strong attacks. I believe Rabbit Fang can actually heal him as well. Uh, if you kill him with a Mercury Jin, uh, his drop rate jumps from um, 0.7% to 6. Oh, sorry, to 6.25%. All right, I'll have to find more Mamesters. Ah, yes, the Plated Rats. <laughs> One of the other enemies we have yet to fight. All right, let's quickly throw on some random Shiza here to toss at them. Toss the dwarf! 
Um, Fairy Rats! They have... They have the level 25, they have 203 hit points, they drop 135 gold and 208 experience points, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping elixir, they use total defense, which uh, actually defends 90% of the attacks, so it's kind of like, they have flash, essentially. Uh, except, they could use it whenever they want, instead of as a Jin, which you can only use, you know, once every so often. Uh, they can also use Counter-Strike, which actually doesn't do a whole lot, it just, it's just a normal attack, which is weird. You'd think that would do something special. Hey, I guess he's total defense. Oh, was just, never mind, just defending. Come on, Ivan, please release your weapon! He's the only one! He might have released and I missed it, but I want to see it too. Ivan's level 25, uh, HP up by 7, PV by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 4. Finally, the Ice Gargoyle! The Ice Gargoyle! <laughs> Uh, let me go over his stuff in a second here! Ivan, I just need you to do nothing but attack, please. There we go, Sonic Smash! I believe that could do multiple hits. That was very unimpressive, actually. Uh, Ice Gargoyles, level 26, 304 hit points, 170 gold, 307 experience points. They have a 1.5625% chance of dropping a potion. Their ability is Guard, Ice Blessing, and Mother Gaia. Mama, ooh, Ice Blessing, please, that actually, well, not that time, so that actually normally hurts quite a bit. And a day. Alright, now that we've seen the Unleash from Ivan... Unleash Sonic Smash, that's anything in particular? Okay, well, wow, we got some uh, Jupiter Power Throw too. Okay, uh, Unleash's Drown. This is a Crystal Rod. And with that, we're now in the Tunnel Ruins! You may recognize this from earlier. No, this is not the same area we saw before, because we actually have a ladder down here. Tunnel ruins. Um, try, oh, wow. Wow. That first one took forever to use, and first attack, it goes through. Great. Good thing. Nope, does not heal. Okay, good to know. Alrighty then. Let's keep attacking them. So, this is not. This is actually another area. Tunnel ruins here. Oh no, where is that? Okay, here we go. So in here we can see skull warriors, will wisps, played rats, uh, orc lords, manticore king, ice gargoyles, wild griffins, and chimera mages. I think everything we saw in the last area we could also see here too. Also, Mia is actually kind of close to death here. We want to be very careful with that one. How very fitting. The last gen we were gonna get. Uh, let's use the move here. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button! Uh, the last gin we're gonna get is an Earth one. We're gonna go to the Earth Lighthouse right now. So there you have two pillars here. You actually only need to use one. Um, so we can just jump through here. Nice little crevice to slide down if you want to. I always thought it was weird how those are like, so specifically shaped for you to slide down. <laughs> okay, this is the room where uh, things will be different depending on the path you set out in Venus Lighthouse. So, it goes this way, you'll see there's like a little area for you to jump down onto if you go straight down. However, there's no way for us to do that. Um, actually, there's a way. We go all the way back to Venus Lighthouse, just after Sahala Desert. And then we come back after we uh, set the path to the right. Which I'm probably gonna do once we... Uh, through here. Uh, the difference being, there's actually different puzzles to go through. So if we just move here. Good, good, goody, goody. Push us all the way. <laughs> These puzzles aren't my favorite, um, considering oops, that a lot of them are just us. Oh, we have the little cap on still, don't we? We sure do. There we go. Um. Yeah, these aren't really my favorite because I hate these like really time consuming either push or use move. If using move was faster than using like, you know, just pushing like that, then that would be a, kind of a little bit of a different story because at least it wouldn't be as like agonizing, but no. Nope, Chuck Testa. Alright. So a lot of these puzzles are pretty standard, simple stuff. Just move things. <laughs> move the game! So, as you can see here, there's a bunch of ivy, and we're gonna need a block here to jump to. Oh god, there's so much. There's so much movie movie. That's a lot of ivy, bro. Well, bro, that's a lot of ivy, huh? Give that to me, good, and again. Good, good. It's just, yeah, I don't know. A lot of these, like, very synergy-focused puzzles. While okay in some aspects, 
Because, like, you know, it's great that they're making you use all your synergy. So that's that's the sign of a good game. It's like it's not like you know a synergy you get is like the key to the entire game. It's like no, you get uh, an ability. Um, they, they'll make make you use all your abilities, which is really cool. Yo. There we go. We're at 20 minutes. We are gonna go a little bit over just to get through this section. There is uh, a new section coming up here. I don't think these tunnel rooms are particularly long. We'll go to like 25 minutes, and from that point, if I haven't reached that area, I'll probably call it there. Let's see, what's faster? No, I honestly think just moving, because you gotta wait for the animation of move to finish. So if you push that there, then do not walk through that room. I'm pretty sure if you walk through there, it would reset the puzzle. Good god, no! You may be wondering, what's the point of having both a left and right puzzle? Well... Okay, or not. <laughs> I thought we were actually close to here. This is a scale puzzle. So if you just carry on this, pull it down. Uh, for reference, the <laughs> the weight of a party, no, or not, is about. No, actually, no. I guess it doesn't really. As you say, it's, it's the amount. It's the same amount as these, but I guess not. Because actually, come think of it. Wait, what? What? Are you kidding? <clears throat> I don't. I don't. I don't know what just happened there. There we go. Weight of a party is equal to two of these blocks, I guess. I do like that noise, though. So I was thinking, oh, if you go in there with only one pillar, you're gonna sink down to the even. Well, like, wait a minute. If you did that, there would literally be no way to progress in the game or, like, escape. Let's go up, let's go up. Go through here. Get some enemies out on a fight. I should actually probably put on. Oh, I thought I was going for Mia. Do not want. Good. Oh, great. Great. How many times do you have to not be able to escape from these lads? Wow, look at that stuff. Everyone's recovering. No one got poisoned, weirdly enough. After all those poison tails. Um, let's see this. What is this? Well, if you use reveal, you got a chest! The uncle's robe. So depending on which path you have, the left or right path from the lighthouse? Resist water. Boost HP recovery. Only me could equipped it. Perfect. This is our best dress in the game, the best armor for her. Of course it's a dress, what is this sexist game? Gosh dangers. Uh, please, dude. Uh, I wonder if the game detects if you're like trying to run a lot. I don't think it does. I don't think the game's smart enough to do that. The fact, like, if you're fleeing a lot and it makes your chances go down. So, you also see a path that way. If you had also done the path from the right, we'd be able to, we'd be able to jump to here from there. So... Oh, there's this room. Okay, so... Um, in between episodes? Actually, I guess I can just restart. So now that we got the treasure from there, we're actually going to be getting both these treasures just for completionist sake. So in between episodes, I'm going to go back to uh, the lighthouse. Oh god, please bring me back to the very beginning. Hopefully it'll do that. I don't think it'll put me here because this isn't really the exit per se. So in between episodes, I will go back to... Uh, Venus Lighthouse and uh, fix up everything and make it ready for us to do puzzles on the right. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye!